you know? It's only when you look at my room right now that you realize my true passion, what I really love, and probably that's not going to ever change. <laughs> it's got to be my tech, for sure. So right now, I'm in the process of putting a motherboard back in this one. My Asus P5KE which was the first real good mainboard I actually bought and that was in August of 2008 so yeah there it is this is a PCI ATI Radeon 7000 real good old stuff 3 gigs of DDR2 and my Q6600 which I had in this desktop here which is also an Asus P5Q Deluxe which also has 3 gig of RAM and I just very recently bought an Intel Xeon Xeon? I don't know but I bought that CPU for it which is basically the best CPU that motherboard can use and it's uh I want to say it's running 3 gigahertz at 4 core. I don't remember now. I just got the thing. I haven't even powered it on since I installed it and checked it to see if it worked. And it did. Right now, this computer here just got it today. And it's uh, got a gigabyte main board. A couple color fans. <clears throat> This one was just bought today to replace this one for my mom. Because this thing was bought in like July or August of 2004. <laughs> A little old and it's showing its age. So it's getting replaced with this one as soon as I get all the updates and everything installed on it. It's all hooked up to my systems right now. And then there's my gutted Xbox, which only works half the time. <laughs> Friggin' old laptop. It's little brother over here, which is totally trashed. Yeah. <laughs> it's seen better days. <laughs> Look at a floppy drive in it. None of the batteries are any good or I'd power one up. Yep, it's dead. At least the springs in the hinge still work on that one. And then there's my good old Vostro, which also just recently got outmoded by my new laptop. Yeah, this sweet thing right here. <laughs> Very sweet, I might add. Color changing keyboard. Yeah, all the fun stuff. Switchable GPUs with a Core i7 good stuff right in this machine here <laughs> yeah it was a much needed update because I got this thing in March of 2008 good update anyway yeah just a little update here I have several more videos I need to edit I need to put this computer back together Yeesh. Freaking cables everywhere. I'm going to pull the screws out. Originally, my intent was to go get a smaller case because this is my big freaking server case right here. This is what I used to host my website on before I moved out of Alaska and remote hosted everything. But anyway, my original intent was to get a smaller case for this motherboard and I was going to get it to my mom instead. But we went to this little computer store and we're looking at computer cases and they're running about 80 to 100 bucks for a decent case. We get to the back of the store and we see pre-built systems, used pre-built. And see this one, it's a Core i3, 3.4 gigahertz and came with a terabyte hard drive, 6 gig of RAM and Windows 8 which obviously is not on it anymore it's now running Windows 7 because Windows 8 sucks just like Windows Vista sucked anyway 
yeah. So I got all every I gutted this thing. So my all my raid array over here. They're all four IDE ten gig Western Digital hard drives. <laughs> A little stupid and ridiculous, and it only equals out to 20 gig because I have a RAID 10 array. But yeah, that takes up a PCI slot on this board, and it worked pretty well, pretty quick, but nothing compared to what that thing can do now. <laughs> I'll go back to my RAID. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to continue pulling these screws out of here, and gosh. Okay, just get you out of the way. I need to pull the Wi Fi antenna off. And take the whole thing. And try to keep all the cables out of the way. Line her up and stick it in. Just like that. I'll take one screw for a placeholder. I need to find my screwdriver now. <laughs> this place is a freaking mess. All this computer stuff. Yeah, this is the original Vostro box over here, which is just full of stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Old freaking 3Com network card. This is the hard drive bay out of the Vostro where I had a 250 gig Western Digital SATA drive which is now sitting over here where I'm downloading my SQL databases from my website so pretty much everything's swapped over already I just have a couple last thing I'm gonna take off of this computer and yeah I'm now stuck on that image because it was pulling off of that SATA drive, which is no longer in it, so it's kind of stuck on Gizmo and, uh, uh, Buckwheat. Buckwheat and Gizmo. Cool cats. Good cats. <sighs> anyway. I don't want to tighten it down just yet because it's still got to be configured, but it'll work. I'll come back in just a minute here. Yeah, it's a little bit later now and I'm just wrapping things up for the night. I have praise. Nothing but praise for the one who invented SATA. Because <laughs> they got rid of this ridiculous mess that is IDE cables everywhere. Here's the funny thing, there's five hard drives in this computer and they're all IDE. And yet the one SATA device is a DVD-ROM drive, or actually a DVD writer drive, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, four 10 gigs and a 20 up top with Windows XP on it. That was the uh, server array. And as far as I know, it all still works. Don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna hook this fan up to one of these pen headers around here. There it is. But you can't really see. And then I'm gonna put the case back on. hard drives there's two fans back here there's this one so this machine stays pretty darn cool and the neat thing is they're all controlled by the motherboard they're all connected here you get the CPU fan of course hooked up there there's a, one of these case fans is hooked up here there's two of them over here 
But you can't see anything because there's too darn many cables in this dang computer. Yeah, good stuff. I don't know why some of these thumb screws are so particular about which hole they get put into. <laughs> anyway, yep, that's the end of that. that will return to its empty place right here and here is the box to the Antec case which is sitting over there that laptop is shut down now that computer is shut down now and we'll deal with the rest of it tomorrow and swap them out once and for all take the hard drive out of that one and stick it in that one um yeah I'm actually waiting on some parts right now to come in for that laptop there that's going to enable me to put that external drive into the second drive bay of that laptop because right now it's got a solid state drive and a terabyte drive internal and there's a second drive bay in there that has no SATA connector so the SSDs are M.2 style and they make adapters that go from the M.2 to uh, SATA ports so I bought a couple of those I'm gonna stick one in there and put that hard drive in there so it's not an external that was my intent in the first place and I actually bought the adapters while I was out on the road but good old Chinese manufacturing sent me the wrong ones so I've got something that well, okay. I got something I can't use, basically. And, yeah, and there's the P5KE box. The P5Q box is in there with a, one of my older motherboards, a P2BF, which is a Pentium 2 Celeron Pentium 3 Slot 1 motherboard. And it still works, too. I was running Arduino on it a while back if I remember right it's got a hard drive in there dedicated with Windows XP and all that fun stuff anyway give me a minute here I just want to make it very clear that a server case with five hard drives and several other internal components is not light. Especially since it's not an aluminum case like that one over there is. Eh, honestly, that one's not either, but whatever. <sighs> now it is time to get all this crap off my bed so that I can use it. Yeah, there is my oldest computer. <laughs> Pentium 1. Good stuff. And it still works too. I haven't even taken it out of the box since I packed it up in Anchorage. So I probably ought to take it out and make sure it does still work. We'll do that in another video, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> what a waste. Anyway. Oosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess eight computers just in, well, nine if you can consider that one. And the P5Q box down there. That's ten computers in this room just alone. Well, technically that one was never mine, so I can't count that one, but. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is my real passion. This is me. I mean. Yeah, this is what I love messing around with. Building machines, messing around with computers, all that fun stuff. <laughs> this machine... It's just going to hang out with a 320 gig hard drive for now. This machine has taken over its place. Yeah. Good stuff. But like I mentioned before, it's got the Core i7. Um, 
go back here. Utilities. CPU. Just so you can see what this thing got in it. Yeah. Got two of those. And I don't know why it says it's only four gig. Because the... Everything I've found for the 870, the uh, NVIDIA G... GeForce GTX 870M it says it's got 6 gigs so I really don't know what to say about that I had a program called GPUZ on here but I can't seem to find it now which means I may never have had it at all I don't know <laughs> but anyway yeah fun stuff fun stuff my hardware monitor Right now it's running on backgrounds made from Windows. I'm going to go ahead and change that real quick. Since I have my E drive here now. Specially labeled and everything. Whoa, too far. This thing can be a pain sometimes. <laughs> Select all. Save. Oh, and look at that. Gilly took over. Actually, that's another cat. That's, uh... Oh, hell, what was your name, girl? Oh, now we got the dog from the... CDL school. Next. That's a stock Windows XP. That's a picture I took. I got my bandwidth monitor in the way. Next. Whoa. Hmm, kittens. Whoa. <laughs> I've had this background for the longest time now. I remember her. She was a sweetheart. Long cat. Hey, that's Sally. Anyway, I'm out of here. It's almost 12.30 at night. It's time for me to sleep out.